guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my favourites for pretty much this whole year. And this year has gone by so, so quickly. I mean, I can't believe it's already September. Is it September? I think it's September. Yeah, it's September now. Anyway, yeah, it's gone by so quickly. And these are basically my favourite products of this year so far. So firstly, I'd like to start by showing you this, which is the Quick Fix Facials Exfoliating Scrub Mask for blackheads and blocked pores. So basically, I like to exfoliate my skin two or three times a week just to keep it nice and smooth so there's no dry patches or anything that's uneven. And with, I like to use this product because basically it kind of fixes everything. And it's not even that expensive either. It's just been perfect for my skin. And what I do is I put it on when I'm in the shower and then I leave it on while I'm washing my hair and wash my body and all that jazz. And then at the very end of the shower, I'll wash it all off just my hands under the shower and then just kind of rub it all away. And then I'm left with smooth looking skin. So next I'd like to move on to the Lush Catastrophe. Oh my God, I can't even believe I just said that. Catastrophe, cosmetic, oh my god. Lush Catastrophe Cosmetic uh, Fresh Face Mask, which you've got to keep in the fridge. I've been loving this product, it's been really, really good. It smells so good. It's like, mm, it's just so good. I love it. It's like blueberries. That's what it's got in it. Yeah, blueberries and that's all it says blueberries but yeah it's really really nice for my skin and it's good for just kind of relaxing in the bath with and then just washing it all off after about five or ten minutes and it leaves your skin feeling so healthy and just clean and you know when you just love your skin and it's just you're having a good skin day and you're like oh yeah this does that and it's brilliant so now moving on to makeup i also always love a good bargain with makeup because quite a lot of the time people go out and they're like oh I'm going to get this really expensive one because I've heard really good things about it and yeah fair enough it's expensive and it's good and everyone knows the brand whatever but actually sometimes people just don't tend to look at other options and the more affordable options or even just things that you know people tend to not know about I've been loving the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Matte foundation in 10 it's absolutely amazing the coverage is so good and on the back it does say that the coverage is high anyway which you know makes sense for why it would be a good coverage and it says texture is medium to be fair I, I'd agree with that again it's not heavy it doesn't feel heavy on your face like some foundations can feel it's really nice it's just kind of really nice feel again soft feeling like everything else I've already mentioned um, it leaves your skin looking flawless and I have quite a lot of freckles but I don't really like to cover it up so that all my freckles are like hidden. I quite like to show some of them because if you've got them you may as well show it. It doesn't really cover them all. It just kind of hides them a little bit more. Is that the best way to say it? Yeah. It hides them a little bit more and it's so much so it dries quite quickly and then looks flawless. It's Normally when I apply my foundation I use a foundation brush and then just kind of pack it all on my face and then I use the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge which again is an absolutely brilliant product I'll show you here. I love it so much it's just wow. I mean it doesn't even cost that much as well which is brilliant because I always love a bargain and you just kind of push it into your skin like that and it leaves your skin just looking so flawless and fresh and it just doesn't have any like bits where it clings to certain areas of your face like the foundation or anything like that it's just absolutely amazing and I love this brush as well sponge the sponge I love the sponge next up I've got something a little bit more expensive however I didn't really want to spend so much on something that I'm not sure whether it's going to work for my skin I did however buy this which is the Benefit Professional. And it's really for like oily skin to cover up all your pores and things. But I've been using it on my skin. I scare my oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I would say my skin is dry to normal skin and although this is really targeted more for oily skin I've been really loving this and I kind of use it around this area here which kind of gets a bit of a build up of foundation sometimes around my nose, on my nose, just a bit on my cheeks, a bit on my forehead and a bit on my chin and that works really really well for me, it keeps my foundation on all day and it says on the packaging that you can use this over the top of your makeup just to refresh it again and kind of bring back that look that you've been wanting all day but I haven't actually tried that out because so far it's lasted all day and cut a face and my skin looking absolutely flawless so I would definitely recommend this product if you haven't tried it already. I also have this in like the little diddy one because I didn't want to spend like I think it's like £24 or something on something that I wasn't sure whether it would work for my skin type or anything like that so yeah I tried it in the little one first. I would definitely recommend this to some of ah! I would definitely recommend this to those of you who are like not wanting to spend so much money but still want to try it out because at the end of the day if you spend a lot of money on something and it doesn't work for your skin or for your makeup or anything and you just don't like it and you spent a lot of money on it it's like you could have spent that money on something else and that's not a good feeling so yeah I definitely recommend getting it in the smaller one if you can find it. So the next product I've got is a highlighter which I've actually had for quite a long time um, this is the Benefits What's Up which is absolutely amazing and leaves a really subtle highlight or if you want a heavier highlighter then you can just layer it up and you know go for that glitter ball look but yeah it's it's pretty good um, it basically you take the top off it's got a little one underneath to protect it and then you just twist like this and that's quite a lot of products there really if you think about it because you won't use a lot of highlight and that's it fully out and I've been using this for like three months or whatever I mean it's last for ages and then the other side it's got this sponge thing which I've actually never used but that's because I actually have like different tools that I like to use such as this fan brush which is actually limited edition by Real Techniques but I'm absolutely loving this if you can get hold of these brushes I think it comes with three and there's a sculpting brush which I use for contour, a setting brush which I haven't really used very much but you would tend to use that under your eyes just to set where your concealer is and then obviously the fan brush which is perfect for like that subtle highlight just to highlight the top of your cheeks. So this is a very recent purchase that I've just got from Debenhams because that's the only place in the North East that sell Urban Decay. And this is the new Naked Smoky palette and I'm absolutely loving this palette because you know what I'm like with smoky eyes. I'm wearing one today. I actually just filmed this look as well. I'll be uploading this soon. This is all just using the Urban Decay Smoky palette which is just perfect. It's got so many nice colours. Mattes, shimmers, you know, everything, the lot. It's just perfect. And the brush with this, I think it's my favourite brush that Urban Decay have ever brought out with a palette. It's like got a fluffy blending brush and then more of an accent brush for that crease just there or just for packing on colour if you want which is what I actually used it for in my recent tutorial with this palette. It's just absolutely perfect. All of the colours are so good, so easy to blend. You can just keep layering it straight up and I mean wow it's just great. The highlighting colours, oh, everything. It's just so good. I just love this palette. I'll just let you have a look at it again. Just wow. Look at those colours. Mmm. So just recently I've been really really into bath bombs and all things bath and relaxing and nice scents. My boyfriend treated me to these and they're like little bath bombs, like little tiny ones. They've all got their own scents. It's like coconut, watermelon, baby powder, um, I can't remember any other ones but yeah they're all really small and so cute and just oh, just look at them they're really lovely. I got them from Whitby actually when I went out on a day out with my family and then I got this bigger one as well which is like a lemon sherbet scent and it's just oh wow it's just so good. 
I mean, I haven't obviously used it yet, hence why it's still, you know, in its packaging and not in the bath. But yeah, I mean, it's really good. I love it and it just smells so nice and I can guarantee that I'm going to be like wanting to lick myself because of the smell and I love lemon sherbet. Like, wow. <laughs> and then I also have this, which I'm using for my makeup brushes. I also got this from Whitby, which I only got yesterday, which depending on when I put this video up was Bank Holiday Monday. But yeah, it's really, really nice. I just love the detail around it. It's just that silver. It's actually meant to be for candles, which is why it's got like the little splatters around it. Probably so the light can get out. But I mean, you know, let's improvise here. I quite like using it for my makeup brushes and I'll continue to use it for my makeup brushes because it is so lovely. So then I've kind of got some more skincare product here. There is the number seven soft and soothe gentle toner for dry to normal skin. And along with that, I have also got the number seven beautiful skin day cream for dry and normal skin. This has also got SPF 15. I mean, I've been really, really liking these products. They're so good and they just kind of keep your skin looking nice and clear and fresh and just moisturized. And um, this, is perfect. I mean, it gets off all the rest of your makeup because quite a lot of the time, or uh, not so long ago, I was just using a makeup wipe to take off my makeup with and it wasn't getting everything out of my skin and I kept breaking out and I just didn't look nice really. My skin didn't look good until I started using this and then just some cotton pads and basically I put some of this on the cotton pad, rub it around my face and honestly you get such a shock by the amount of products that actually comes off after you think you've taken it all off. I mean, it is quite amazing. Like, that's how much dirt I was leaving on my skin? Mm -mm, not good. But this has been working perfectly for me. Again, this, I use this every single day before I put my makeup on or if I'm just going to have a day makeup free just to kind of keep my skin well looked after, looking nice and healthy. It's absolutely perfect and it's, it's been working brilliantly for my skin. As well as the fact it's got SPF 15 in it, which again I need for my like quite freckled skin that obviously gets caught in the sun quite a lot. It's really, really good and works brilliantly to stop all those freckles from just uh, popping out all the time. So I think that's it for all my favourites that I've been loving so far just through this whole year. I mean, I've been really, really loving them all. And if I didn't love them all, I wouldn't be sharing them with you guys and recommending them like 100%. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and if you like these videos, then don't forget to let me know in the comments. Because normally I'm a bit funny about speaking one-on-one -on -one on the camera because I think it's a bit weird. Like, hello camera, it's me. Like... Yeah, it's a bit strange because the camera doesn't talk back. And until next time, bye guys!